Oh, hey guys, what's going on? We're back to Winter's Quarters. We got Utopian Ray. This is not Utopian Ray, sorry. This is King Ark fighting against Venia. My bad. Uh, King Ark on the left side uh, representing Mega Man. Venia representing the Greninja Extraordinaire. Now, both these guys have Xeno wins underneath their belts. We got a little battle of the champions going on right now. I believe this is Winner's Quarters as well. Winner, this is going to move on to Winner's Semis Top 8. Now, King Ark has been the Mega Man. What's cool about the transition from Smash 4 to Ultimate is a lot of our players in New York City played these characters in Smash 4 and moved on into Ultimate. So, you know, you got King Ark been playing Mega Man since Smash 4. Venya's been playing Greninja since Smash 4. So just see how the game, how the the engine has changed these characters, for better or for worse. I believe both of these characters got benefits from the engine change, though. So here we go, King Ark sitting at 144% already. Venya has been dominating this stage, not allowing King Ark to find any sort of leverage right up to bat here. But joining me here on the mic is your boy Louis Jesus, man, coming out here to support his man. How you doing, bro? Um, I'm all right. Uh, yeah. First time. First time. Uh, yeah. lo long time viewer, first time caller? Yeah, basically. Oh, I got you, man. All right, so right off the bat, you know, Benny uh, just took away that stock from King Ark. But, you know, it's, it's the first stock of the set. This could go either way. Mm -hmm. um, they, it seems they've been going back and forth the uh, past few tournaments. I believe King Ark took the last uh, setup between them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it looks, sounds accurate. It looks pretty convincing, but, you know, with these two, you never know. Yeah, Venia, uh, it depends on the day for Venia, too. I feel like there's some days where he's just not feeling, and there's some days where he just plays out of his freaking mind. Right now, it seems to be, uh, we don't know yet. I mean, he's got this whole stock lead already. King Ark trying to charge up that forward smash to be able to catch that ledge. I believe that is able to catch people's two frames on the ledge as well. They managed to go for that re-grab. There we go, drags him down with the up smash. He was going for the tech roll read. He was hoping he was going to roll to the right to catch that uh, little forward smash with that water kunai. Alright, this is going to down it. Oh! Nice! Right. Edge guard coming from King Ark. Letting go of that ledge to catch the back air. Really good coverage in case Venue was trying to go for the ledge with his recovery. Setting him up strong with those grabs. Now, King Ark playing a little dangerously by running up and going for the grabs constantly. But those down airs, not the most unsafe thing to go for. Mm -hmm. Just trying to end those stocks. King Ark slowly catching up here um, mm. one hit at a time. Now, what are your thoughts on like this matchup, Mega Man fighting against Greninja? I'm um, speaking to King Ark. Um, he's actually he used to think it was a bad match, but lately he's been saying he thinks it's pretty even, if, if anything. Yeah. At worst. Is that because of like uh, the projectiles? You think? Um, I think he just really feels comfortable edge guarding him because he, he he keeps getting him right under him. He'll always it seems like he gets his jumps out the way right. all the time. Like here he goes. He tries to waste the resources. Yep. Gets him here. And that's why Venya is recovering the way he is. He's actually hovering underneath Final Destination, that little curb, so he can kind of avoid that little uh, that little down air coming from Mega Man. But now Venya again is trying to set up these combos with these dash attacks. Down tilt, a very safe option for Greninja to just like set up as a combo starter and be able to just kind of like low profile them. I'm surprised King Ark isn't going for any um, bombs here, uh, the side B, because uh, lately he's been liking to do that to mm -hmm. force you into certain options. They're just going to play a Goomba Stomp on him real quick. I like these mix-ups coming from Benny, crossing him up, waiting for the spot dash before committing to the dash attack. King Ark having trouble. Goes for the Leaf Shield just to get Benny off of him really quickly. I don't know. He saw him go for the back air, expecting Benny to go for a jump out of shield. A very common option in Ultimate. Oh, missed the, missed the uh, blade on stage. Yeah, things are looking pretty bleak for King Ark. Trying to chill back about that forward smash. Gives anyone to get a little over aggressive. Too much percent to get that first back air, but the following one off stage gonna be able to seal that deal. But a little bit might be a little bit too late. My man's sitting at 125 percent. And that answers what I said earlier. It seems like he doesn't want to use the bomb because of the counter. Hmm. We saw that slow mo happen just right before our eyes. And that's like King Ark's like go-to move, honestly. There are a lot of Eggman. They love that move. Oh, catches the air dodge into the ground. Forward smash waiting him. That is the first time Vinny has actually the entire game. They just stood there, wait for the air dodge into the ground before committing to that forward smash. Every single time, he's been, like, incredibly aggressive, you know, conditioning him into waiting into the forward smash. Here it is right here, the down tilt. Because every single time after that down tilt, he's followed it up. He's jumped after him. He's tried to swing at him. Yeah, that's what the, the top players do. They keep things in their back pocket for the mm -hmm. most important times. Close out the game. There's a lot of pressure on the line. Sometimes you just don't see, you know, stuff like that happening. But here we go into game... Numero dos. 
Go stage of the pick. We're going to Yoshi's Story Melee. Try plats abound. I'm pretty sure uh, King Arg went here because, like I was saying earlier, he was trying to get those down airs, and now Venya can't hide under the stage anymore. Right. He wants those walls on the edge of the stage so the down air can actually connect against them because Venya, with the hydro pump with Greninja, he relies on like hugging that wall to get back to the stage safe and sound. So now he's going to have to mix up his recovery incredibly well against Mega Man. And also, on top of that, it allows uh, Mega Man to be able to throw crash bombs on the wall. I don't know if he'll actually go for it because of the counter, you know, messing up, like, the slow-mo. I think he'll still go for it because um, it. what what King Ark was telling me about is in this game, if you just touch the crash bomb, like, if it's on the floor or on the wall, it yeah. blows up instantly. Mm. Okay, he, that was good recognition from King Ark. He knew that Benny was going to recover high, just mi barely missed that back air. A hair too low. Oh, another another mix up there. He's making sure he doesn't have to recover low. Aggressive option. Did he that. try to go for a counter there? Regardless, good conversion off of the crash bomb into the forward air. Managed to get that kill. Forward air now has that destructive power to be able to get that KO. Okay, okay that back air. Try to go for it again. Nice mix up from Venya trying to go for the Trump. King Arc nice saw parry. it coming. Oh, good was, recovery. Was, oh, and he boy. still gets it. Oh, that's the that's the downside of the stage. King Ark had all the options oh, covered. Is that it? Okay. Nah, he's fine. You know, that rush is gonna send him super high up in the air vertically. Plus, he has the air dodge to boot in case he barely misses the ledge. Yeah, that's one good thing about uh, Mega Man. He, he can air dodge out of his up B. Hmm. And we're gonna be seeing this a lot from Venya because he's gonna be able to abuse the wall cling against the whenever he's trying to get back on the stage. Because if he gets a little bit too predictable with the up B, King Ark can just wham, bam, thank you, man, with that down air. I like those choice of words. Yeah, I mean, just throw the fist at him, dude. But you got two stock lead, Venia. Trying to sit on his final stock again, just waiting down there before throw. I like that, oh, that metal was, blade usage. That was smart. Yeah, and that was even smarter by Venia, <laughs> recognizing the blade coming and up airing it. Yeah. It was pretty low committal on King Arc's part, too. There we go, Leaf Shield, just a quick get off me move. Nice, recognizing he wants to go for the jump, had the back air, anti air at the ready. He's using this Leaf Shield. It doesn't seem like Vinny has an answer for it just yet. I'm, sur I'm surprised he hasn't like tried to go for like a counter or anything yet. Get down B. A little substitute action. Does the, does the counter? There it is again. Vinny holding the forward smash this time, recognizing the tech in place. Wait, King Arx quickly got to adapt to that. Can't let that happen one more yeah. time. Yeah, but the, the problem is Vinny is stealing the momentum from him. He's just got to get like a couple more clean hits on him. Take this to a game three situation, or else he's gonna be taking an early trip down to losers. Hold on a second, he has yet to touch him. A potential zero death on the horizon? Yeah, never yeah, mind. Leaf Shield, going. gonna negate that completely. We got ourselves a tied game. Look how far, oh, he, oh, he tried to he go for, went the, for it. Smart stuff, Benny opting to recover a little that time. Goes for the back air, catches we the living. jump. Still alive. Great the parry parry. on the hydro pump. Parry allowing him to get, you know, run out of it, act, act a little bit faster. Okay, King Arc's getting a little antsy with these forward airs. Oh. Again, Surprised he didn't go for the force smash there. King Arc is actually spamming these air, dodge out, air dodges out of the down tilt, but gets the grab back though. Not enough to get the kill. How many times are we going to see these sparks today? Again? Oh, that is the okay, game. so when Venya gets the sparks, when Venya gets it, he gets the win. But your boy King Arc can't get it? Like, Yeah, it's un unfortunate. I think the game was a little biased there with these uh, kill screens. <laughs> Just a bit. My man, Nintendo. What are you doing? Right there. I, I wonder if that was a flubbed input because he clearly threw a metal blade behind him and mm. that wasn't going to do anything. Maybe um, like for momentum purposes, maybe try to like uh, wave bounce it or some some uh, nonsense. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure what was going I don't through think so. I don't, maybe he just wanted to get rid of it. I don't know. Probably not the best way to get rid of it. Yeah, so King Arc taking a little early trip down to losers. Not really early. He uh, Fenya's fated to win that even though King Arc did win in the past. I think uh -huh. according to seating, I think he was supposed to lose there. Consistency. I'm shocked that happened that early, though. Mm -hmm. Winners, quarters, king, a champion versus a champion. Yes, That's I how you know this bracket is stacked. 